is January 10th and it's 4.02 p.m. We'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Um, I'm gonna go through roll call of planning commissioners. Um, myself, Heather Lynn here. Howard Tritz. Abby Dahlman. Here. Bryce Ehrlich. Here. Uh, Joey Edwards. Here. Uh, Lupe Bobadilla. For some reason, I thought. And Jamie Cipher. Here. Great, thank you. And we have a roll call of county commissioners. Do we have uh, Commissioner Mudge? Here. Commissioner Marcella? And Commissioner Fiedler? Here. Great, thank you. Do we have any changes or additions to the agenda tonight? Um, Anne, I think we're set. Okay. No, no, no changes. Thank you. Any staff updates? Um, the only update that I think, uh, two different things. One is um, I'm going to go back and review where we are in the min minutes and anything that's still outstanding, we will get those on the agenda. Um, so just going back and updating that. And uh, the other just staff update or staff suggestion, and I think I included this in the email, is that um, potentially maybe starting in February, we could uh, do some 2022 uh, goal setting and uh, priorities um, in one of those work, se work sessions, um, maybe after February. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think that would help also serve as um, an opportunity to kind of um, bring some of our new commission members up to speed on what's been going on and, and indulge in that conversation. So that's a great idea. Um, we're going to move on down to the new business. The very first item on there is we have some new planning commissioners. Um, we have those new appointments. Uh, so we'll welcome um, new commission member Joey Edwards and Jamie Seifer. Um, we're super excited to have you guys. And please, I think hey, Anne <laughs> spoke to this. Forward the link to you and well, you want to just listen to it on this. Yeah. Thanks for whoever muted them. Um, the uh, I think Anne spoke to this in her email to you guys. But um, if you end up with any questions or need any updates on this, please feel free to reach out to um, any of your fellow commission members. We'd love to. Um, chat with you and give you any information that we can to to welcome you and and help you um, on this journey forward. With that, I think as of the new year, we have to do reappointments um, of chair, vice chair, and secretary. Um, I think just to give a little background on these roles, um, as I've experienced them over the years, is chair mainly works with staff to create agenda items and or um, processes for the planning commission moving forward and runs the meetings. Um, vice chair operates in that role should the chair not be possible or not available for running those meetings. And secretary, I think just has a label of secretary and maybe moves into that position being the third option. I'm not sure there's any actual secretarial duties that are required of our um, secretary. So. We do have those three seats um, that we need to appoint out of our current commission uh, members. And with that, I guess I would ask if anybody has any um, nominations, uh, either self nominations or other nominations for those positions, anybody have um, any desire to serve one of those roles out of our out of our planning commission, I should say. <laughs> Heather, I'd love it if you'd stay as chair, if that's <laughs> um, a desire of yours. Thank you, Abby. Yeah, I would be happy to continue um, unless there's somebody else who is dying to take that on. Anybody with any desire for, I know Howard's not here, he's our current vice chair. Um, anybody with any desire to serve in that position? Okay. 
Don't everybody get all excited at one time here. I'd be happy to. Okay, I like that. Thank you, Rice. And, you know, um, I know we've got a couple on here that are just getting their feet wet, so maybe not um, as appropriate, but Abby, if you're interested in secretary or, and or we can nominate Howard since he's not here, <laughs> we can nominate him as well. So whichever. That sounds, that sounds good. I can be secretary. Okay. Usually that does involve taking minutes, but I'm happy that it doesn't, if that's the case. Okay. <laughs> We're super thankful to our awesome staff and the recordings yeah. that they use to do that, so. Thank you. Yeah. I would just add that um, Marla is with me and she's not gonna like me doing this to her. <laughs> um, and so she um, is who we are bringing on um, as supportive staff for, as recording secretary. Great, thank you. Okay, with that, do we have any discussion from planning commission and or commissioners on the matter? Okay, can I get a motion for those three position appointments? Um, yeah, I'll move that Heather Lynn it serves as chair, Bryce Ehrlich as vice chair, and myself, Abby Dahlman, as secretary. Great, do I have a second? Okay, thanks, Bryce. Any discussion on that motion? Okay, can I get um, an aye vote if you approve? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, great, thank you. All right, the big one um, that we're all here for tonight is file 21-32, which is the LDC amendment for backcountry zoning. We have a, um, uh, staff and I, Ann and I, uh, have kind of talked extensively about uh, our meeting uh, or public hearing that was initially scheduled for this evening. Um, and based on our conversations and the feedback that we received during our town hall and even some feedback that's come in since then, uh, we really felt that it would be worthwhile for our group to make sure that our presentation was very on point for that public hearing. We feel there was um, perhaps a lot lacking from our public presentation at that town hall in led it, leading to several um, misunderstandings of what this backcountry proposal would do. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we take into account those comments and, and suggestions and put those together to formulate a much better um, and more, more informative uh, backcountry zoning proposal um, for the public at that at that hearing. So our um, proposal would be that we table this public hearing to uh, Jan our next meeting of January 24th, Monday, um, same time, 4, 4 p.m. And um, in that time, both staff, myself, and other planning commissioners could uh, work together to make sure that we have a, um, a very well thought out public presentation for that evening. Um, so, and I don't know if Andy wanted to add anything to that, but before we open that to discussion. Um, I would just uh, reiterate everything you just said. Um, Heather, I think that we also identified value in, in a lot of the public comment um, and perspective that was gained, um, not only through the town hall meeting, but in uh, subsequent conversations, letters, um, both of uh, some concerns as well as support um, and, and just a perspective sometimes that um, hadn't been considered before. So I think um, we're just really taking this time to be intentional, um, respond to um, what we've heard and make sure that what we bring forward is um, the very best uh, proposal that, that looks at all of the different perspectives and the value that we've gained in, in hearing from the public as well. So I, I think um, exactly what you said, Heather, and, and I think that um, it was a good time to just take a pause and to make sure that we have worked through or thought about um, everything that has um, been brought forward to us. Great, thank you. 
Um, planning commissioners or county commissioners, does anybody have any thoughts and or comments on this suggestion? I don't know, this is Commissioner Mudge. I don't, I, I appreciate the thought. And I also just, um, if we could take a minute to remind folks where they can find all the materials online and the land use um, department in some of the files that are being considered. I think the FAQ is on the county website. Um, and uh, I will try to get that into the chat as well before the meeting um, might adjourn here. Um, but also there's, uh, you know, anyone can reach out to staff uh, as it sounds like people have been, which we certainly appreciate. And that's the point of um, going through this process to hear public concern and questions. Um, so I'm, I am grateful that we are um, taking those into account. Yeah, thank you. I think that's a great point. And I will let Anne, um, I think most of what's on uh, our I think all of the information um, we are trying to make sure is adequately posted on the county website. But Anne, if you wanna to speak to that. Absolutely, and I was, um, so you can find it, um, I'm putting it in the chat right now. If you go to the county website at um, www.lakecountyco.com and you go to departments and you go to building and land use, um, then there is a whole backcountry proposal page and it has um, all of the information um, that and, and or reach out to me I put my email address into the um, uh, chat so you can reach out to me directly um, thank you Sarah she just put it in there as well um, thank you for cutting and pasting it in there so or or call our office the main line number is uh, 486-2875 um, if you're not catching any of this right now and we'd be happy to direct you so reach out anytime um, the information is on the web. You can reach out to me directly. Um, whatever, whatever way preferred method you have, uh, please feel free and, and reach out anytime. Um, and to anyone that um, has reached out to me, I think I have about four pending emails um, that I am will be responding to. So if you are on right now and you have emailed me, I think I have four outstanding responses that I haven't responded to yet. So those will be coming and. Um, but happy to hear from you. Thank you, Anne. Okay, I had um, Commissioner Seifer. Thanks, Heather. Hello, everybody. Uh, new planning commissioner here. Happy to be a uh, part of the crew. I just have, uh, I agree with uh, tabling this for another couple of weeks. I just have a question about the process by which the planning commission and staff are going to put together this presentation. On the method by which it'll be a PowerPoint presentation, is, is that what you're asking, Jamie? What, 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 what I mean, you... how are we in the next couple of weeks going to be talking about the presentation? Uh, I don't quite know how the normal process goes. I don't know how many meetings we have between now and then, if this gets discussed there, or if this is something that gets put together and then a draft gets sent out. I'm just curious how, how the workflow n normally works. So this, so backcountry has been in development for over a decade. And so all of our work sessions are complete on it. Um, we've had um, a, a, a lot, <laughs> probably 20, 30 work sessions on, on backcountry. So right now it is this period of time in a, uh, in a typical land use uh, application, uh, lands with staff and, and we prepare what's called a staff report or a public hearing presentation. And so that's that's the point at which we are at. Um, but because we took in some valuable input um, on December 13th, along with um, some additional information that has come in, uh, staff is, is taking this time to uh, integrate all of that information or to vet it into a, a greater degree. And then that'll be put into the presentation that comes forward. So so um, 
this has been a, a very engaged process, but it, it's been going on for, for quite a while. So um, we're kind of through the work session period um, and our last opportunity um, kind of get to gain the public insight and input was the town hall that was conducted on December 13th. And so now um, based on that and the feedback, we're, we're taking that in and incorporating that in or um, making revisions to it. Um, there is a revised, um, draft that just came out of legal this morning. And so that will be um, uh, presented also. So that'll be the final draft language as well. And that'll all be um, included within the staff report. Well, and to further clarify, there will be, um, uh, staff's gonna be putting that, that information and that staff report together, as well as that presentation that includes kind of all the comments that that we received during during those different meetings as well as the town hall. Um, and then there will be obviously public hearing and comment and more discussion at the actual public hearing date. So there won't be, it's not the end all presentation that staff brings to us um, on the 24th. It would purely be the presentation based on our feedback as well as public feedback from that town hall um, and since. So that presentation will be presented. Um, I imagine there will be um, a couple of us on the planning commission that um, are part of that public presentation. Uh, I know that Bryce, for instance, is great at the mapping situation. He did the majority of the, the mapping data on there. So I'm guessing that, um, you know, Ann will reach out and have him, him do part of that presentation and then myself on some of it just from the historical knowledge of it. But, um, but otherwise it would be a presentation of which then the entire planning commission, the county commissioners um, can ask questions, make discussions. Um, there, uh, you know, I've seen a couple of notes in the chat here about the um, square footage uh, decisions. Those decisions aren't being made in the background. Those are going to be um, highlighted in the staff report and the public presentation that there were feed there was feedback regarding increasing that number um, and a decision on what that number should be will be made by the planning commission um, in that joint public hearing on the 24th. Um, and so that's kind of how that process looks. If that helps answer those questions for you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, any other questions or thoughts from our um, planning commission or county commissioners on tabling this to the 24th? Great, well, with that, I can entertain a motion to table file 21-32 to January 24th. Yeah, I move to move file 21-32 to January 24th. Do I have a second on that motion? Second that motion. And who, sorry, who was that? I missed you. It was Joey. Oh, thank you, Joey. Great. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Okay. All in favor of tabling File 21-32 to January 24th, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Uh, so for those of you that are public that were here and are here for the updates on the backcountry um, zoning proposal, we urge you to uh, return on the 24th uh, for the public hearing. If, if you are unable to attend that, or you have any questions in the meantime, please um, don't hesitate to reach out to um, our staff and check out the website. The meeting on the 24th will be the same time between um, at four o'clock, um, same Zoom um, location. Uh, again, please, please, please reach out if you have any questions or comments that you want considered if you're unable to attend and even if you are. Um, we look forward to including those in our um, presentation on the 24th. Heather, the, the meeting will be at four o'clock at the regular planning commission times. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. 
in the Zoom, the updated meeting and Zoom link and agenda will be posted on the website as well. All right, thank you. I show that we don't have any other business. So at this time, unless anybody has anything additional that they wanna to add to the agenda, I think we can entertain a motion to adjourn. Yeah, I'll move, we adjourn. Second. Thank you, Abby, thank you, Joey. Great, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you everybody. Have a good evening and we will see you in two weeks. See you in two weeks. Thanks. Thanks.